guys, I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com, and putting on my tab takes a whole new meaning now that the Galaxy Tab is coming to retail stores. The Sprint version arrived this morning, and it's available as of Sunday, November 14th, so this Sunday for $399 on a two-year agreement, $599 without contract. Now, the cool thing about that is when you buy it off contract for $599, you don't have to activate it. So if you're buying it as a holiday present for a significant other, family, friends, whatever, you can buy it. You don't have to activate it on your account. Very cool. On that front. To recap on the specs, 1 gigahertz processor, 7 inch screen, Android 2.2, 4000 milliamp battery for tons of Android fun, uh, and much more that we'll find out in the unboxing. But first, special thanks to our friends at Best Buy Mobile for hooking us up with not one, but two Galaxy Tabs for use on One Paw Bandit giveaway. You know, one cool thing about Best Buy Mobile, they support all three, or in some cases, all four carriers. So you don't have to walk in and hear that, oh, you know, Star Mobile is so much better because we have 7G and all the other carriers only have 3G and they're all terrible. No, there's, it's non-biased. You don't have to worry about getting any sort of bias when you walk into Best Buy Mobile. Very cool on that front uh, at Best Buy Mobile retail stores. But enough of that. Special thanks to our friends at Sprint for hooking us up with the unit. Let's get started in the unboxing. Okay, iPad, you have a new competitor in the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Here's Sprint's version of the uh, Android tablet. And as I said, it's available as of November, on November 14th, rather, for $3.99 on a two-year agreement. Special thanks again to our friends at Sprint for hooking us up with a re uh, review unit. So let's recap a little bit on the specs. 1 gigahertz processor, 7-inch display that sports 1,024 by 600 pixels, 3-megapixel camera, massive 4,000 milliamp battery, 512 megabytes of RAM. So in the box, you get the device, uh, USB charger, micro SD memory card, card adapter, get started guide, basics guide, recycle bag, all that good stuff. Oh, hey, there's the number, actually. Uh, shoot me some text messages. I'd like to see how the, uh, how the keyboard works on the, uh, on the Galaxy Tab. Uh, otherwise, a couple of features about the device, and then the box is pretty bare other than the uh, the Now Network. So let's open this sucker up. And there it is. Welcome. Now you can stay in touch while on the go. Good. Because I've been wanting to do that. Front-facing camera. Camera on the back with a flash. And uh, actually a white back on this device. So pretty neat there. Let's pull this off. And that sounds good. And we'll turn that on. And while we turn it on, let's have a look at the device. Uh, on the right side, power button, volume rocker, micro SD card slot, and uh, microphone on the left side. Charging port on the bottom, speakers on the bottom, and then 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the top. Oh, that sounded really good. And uh, let's power it on. I thought I already did that, but guess not. Micro SD card slot. Let's have a look at that here. Let's see what kind of uh, what kind of card comes with it. So, you know, it'll be interesting for me to see because I'm not, you know, I mean, I see a need for tablets. I see the niche the tablets are in, but never seen one. Uh, I've never seen the need for one myself. 16 gigabyte micro SD card. Never seen the need for one myself. So it'll be interesting using this uh, in personal use over the next couple of days. Be interesting to see what I have to say about it. That'll be cool. Okay, so in the box you get instruction manuals. And there, I won't open those up too much. You know, you get started stuff. Getting started stuff, rather. It's been a long day. Important information for the Samsung Galaxy Tab. You better read this because it's important information. And then uh, register now for the Media Hub and a little, little sticker promoting the Media Hub. Now, you get a, a micro SD card adapter with your micro SD card. It's 16 gigabytes. And then you get your uh, USB. Not micro USB, but USB uh, adapter with a Samsung proprietary um, jack there. And then you get a US prong for your, uh, for your Samsung adapter here. So that is there. And we can pop that down in. I'm assuming you can get other adapters for, uh, for other countries. So when you're traveling, you can use the same adapter. Very cool. Pops right down in, kind of similar to the uh, the MacBook line of that Apple does with the uh, with the thing that pops down with the AC adapter that pops into the module. So you'll see the USB there, plugs in, and uh, and goes from there. So very cool. Let's have a look at the device. Powered on, there's that 7-inch display. Not super AMOLED, but in terms of uh, pixels, you know, 1024 by 600. It's very rich color. Looks good. And uh, let's get through this. 3G network or Wi-Fi will do that. Yeah, let's have Google. We consent to all that stuff. Because we love Big Brother. He's a friend. 
Uh, no, we'll set all that up later. And finish up here. Oh, I already have a new message. And uh, here's what the main screen looks like. You know, three different tabs to scroll through. And uh, very unique, you know, not customized build of Android 2.2 here. So let's have a look at what this looks like. Very unique. It looks very much like Android. And then on the bottom, you see the capacitive buttons. Menu, home, back, and search. Now, on the Sprint side, unit, it's not a lot of uh, Sprint installed stuff on here. We have the free games, daily briefing, which is a Samsung thing. Media Hub, which again is a Samsung thing. But the only thing I see that's Sprint-centric are uh, the two things, Sprint Hotspot and Sprint Zone. So, nice there. You know, I think Sprint Navigation is on this device, but as I read, you don't get it for free. It's available for $9.99 uh, every month. So, price plans, you're looking at 2 gigabytes for $29.99, 5 gigabytes for $59.99, and uh, both come with unlimited messaging. So... Hell no, who knows, you might pull it out of the box and get a message, just like I did. Otherwise, very similar to TouchWiz UI uh, that you've seen on the Galaxy S devices with the, uh, the iPhone-ish type icons, and uh, unfortunately no dock on the bottom, just the home button. So you see browser, email, icons look very similar. Let's do a quick look at the widgets. And uh, you'll see a lot of those are very similar to the TouchWiz widgets that you see on uh, the Galaxy S devices. Now... Let's see what else is new. Yeah, AccuWeather Clock, all of that good stuff. Now, otherwise, you know, new, Google's News and Weather Widget, there it is, which is cool. And, you know, I, I've held the iPad, I've held the Galaxy S. This 7-inch uh, screen, it really is a sweet spot. It feels great in the hand, uh, not too big, not too small, and it's easy to hold with one hand and uh, and read versus where I, I always felt the iPad was a little bit too big, in my opinion, for a uh, for a device that I'm always carrying, so interesting there, but otherwise really it's a Galaxy S device with some slight customizations thanks to the larger screen uh, and you know without a phone obviously, but very similar to if you're used to Galaxy S phones and you're going to be used to the Samsung Galaxy Tab, or at least the learning curve will be less. Now let's have a look at the input method. I'm seeing swipe is on here and then there's the uh, Samsung keypad, so let's see. Hey there, how are you? So very easy to type on, uh, and of course it's in, you know, it goes into landscape mode as well on both sides. So you can do it that way, or I'm assuming you can you know, set it out and type like that. Now, uh, otherwise very thin, very light, good looking device. And uh, let's have a look at the Media Hub real quick and see what that looks like. Since that's a relatively new feature from Samsung. You, know, you have your media, your movies, your TV store here, and uh, you can download all of that from this device. It's kind of intended to be an entertainment replacement, or at least a supplement to, or complement rather, to your entertainment that you have now. So you can download movies, download TV uh, programs, and do it on the Galaxy Tab. Now, interestingly enough, this is not a 4G device. It's a 3G only device, so you do not have, uh, have access to Sprint's 4G but uh, you do have access to Wi-Fi. So if you're in an area where 3G is not fast, you're in an area where uh, the, the data connectivity isn't that great, you can always hook over to Wi-Fi, and it's 802.11, B, G, and N. So very cool on that front. Otherwise, very similar, but rest assured, we're going to do more testing in our first impressions and all the other coverage that's going to come up on PhoneDog.com. Much more coverage to come on the site, first impressions, videos, reviews, all that good stuff. In the meantime, be sure to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash phone dog. We're cool people. We do cool things on Facebook, and hey, we give away stuff. So be sure to go to facebook.com slash phone dog, like our page, and register to win one of 100 iPads or even a trip to the Super Bowl. That's pretty cool, too. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, phone dog underscore Aaron. Ask me any questions, as always, that you have about this device or any other device, and I'll do my best to answer those. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.